We are on the Bayfront in St. Augustine, Florida, and I don't think there is a prettier place in the world. I'm just going to spin for a second. Keep my face in there so make it keep, that way it stays pretty for you. What? <laughs> no, no, I didn't say She's anything. laughing at me. I didn't say nothing. Uh, we're actually going to, uh, I think we're going to Hooked on Harry's. I always say that's what the ad it's says. It's not. It's called Harry's, <laughs> and I know that, but <laughs> their ad stuck with me, their I guess. Their website is hookedonharrys.com. <laughs> see? See? <laughs> Uh, the food's really good there, and I hope we can get in. There's not a lot of people here. No, we got parking so, right on the bayfront. Oh, right on the bayfront. It's fantastic. Nice. So hopefully what? we will be eating in there in just a few moments. Yes. Let's head that way. It's a seafood bar and grill modeled after New Orleans, the Cajun style food. Well, we've been here before and this is a fantastic place to eat and I hope it don't last down this time. Uh, but we are, I'm about to show you where our view from our table. It is insane. I'm not talking about seeing Stacy out there. Like we actually got to be at the ocean here. Aww. Aww. Look at that, I got points. <laughs> but um, we're gonna get, we did order the, uh, what else we heard? We did order the uh, Harry Signature Crab Cakes. Never had those before, but we love crab cakes, so you can't really go wrong with that. But we don't know what we're getting yet, but uh, I'm gonna stop this right here, and we're gonna flip it around, and we're gonna look at our view. Here's a look at the menu for Harry's starters. Now we did get the crab cakes. So I'm excited about those. I love crab. Lunch salads. Bourbon Street favorites. Everything is actually priced really well. Like for being on the water pretty much in a seafood town everything is very reasonably priced oh key lime pie then on the back of the menu they have the wine list sorry my menu got a little wet there's just paper the craft beers and their signature cocktails i am really excited about this food we've been here a few years ago and it was amazing. They do give you bread. It says it's usually toasted, but their toaster is broken. But it's fine. They give you an Italian herb butter and put it on that. That's just great. So on the wine, it really doesn't need to be toasted. Try the sheet crab soup first. Some kind of cream bisque. Uh, with, what kind of? Did you say what kind of crab it was? You enjoy it? What kind of crab is in here? It's a uh, blue crab. Blue crab. So we're gonna try that. That's amazing. Oh man. Say you might not have any left. Don't eat it all. No, go. Let me 
gonna jump right over to the crab cakes now. If I can get my silverware up. Probably should have done that before I started the camera. I'm gonna put a little lemon across the top of it. I don't think you'd ever go wrong with crap. No matter what form it's in. This is so good too. I'm probably not gonna want my fish tacos. <laughs> this is good. Don't eat all that. Just try it. <laughs> now I have, and pardon the red face, it's a million degrees outside. And I can't wear makeup down here because I sweat it all off. But I have the, what was this called? She crab soup. She crab soup. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's so good. Like I am a huge fan of lobster bisque. This is very similar to that, except with crab and a little bit less tomato-y. 10 times better. Oh, this is really good. Lunch food, and Stacy just said it. It's probably the prettiest food we've ever seen played, especially for lunch. But this is this is good. I got the um, let me get one bite up here. This it's the corn grits. I'm pretty good. I'm not sure how. Wait. I'm supposed to take a bite of that on camera without making a mess. So I'm gonna try it. Look. That's your site for later. That black and mahi is fantastic. That's really good. Carl's really good. Blake has got something different. Sorry. Instead of a burger, he went with fried shrimp. So we're going to spin this around. He likes it. Yeah. This, you wouldn't spend money to get a burger or something, but I'm going to try something out. Uh, I'm going to try something different out. Um, so I believe you can eat the tail, so... What do you have? Do you know what it is? Banger cheese, but fried and ketchup. All right. I ordered the blue crab crusted redfish, black and redfish. It's a lot, but it's also amazing. The redfish is very flaky and they put like this sauce on it. I don't know what the sauce is. It didn't say, but it's so good. It's got just a touch of spice in it, so it's just a little warm. So good. And the, the crab is, uh, I mean, like Josh said, there's no wrong way to do crab. It's just good. But this is one of the best dishes, first of all, I've ever seen plated. It's beautiful. And one of the best fish, fish dishes, that's hard to say, I've ever ate. So, I should probably come here. Something very interesting about this place. It's St. Augustine, so probably shouldn't surprise you too much. It's haunted by a 15-year-old girl 
And what was her name? Catalina. Catalina. The um, women's bathroom. She's from Cuba. She's from Cuba. The women's bathroom is actually her bedroom. And they say if you go in there and use a couple of swear words, that should pull on your hair. Obviously, I can't go record the bathroom. So, I well, can't test that. Sexy mind a minute. But they said sometimes, even when it's busy out here and the room is full, she'll make an appearance wearing a white dress. Some people think it's a wedding dress. Uh, but and she'll walk through walls and everything while everyone was actually sitting in the dining room. So, hopefully, we would see something like that. But even if not, it's cool enough to come here just for the possibility of being able to see something like that. Here's the women's restroom. It's really big. Really, really big. Let me back up. Make sure there's nobody coming in. I may or may not have been in here cussing up a storm, but nothing happened. Sorry. We about forgot to end the video. We're outside now. We're in the courtyard, though. Hold on, sweetheart. Okay, we'll go get another one. Go over there. Um, like I said, I almost forgot. We're out in the courtyard right now. Yeah, it's beautiful which is, out we, here. We got to hurry because we're in a place we're not supposed to be at. So we're going to be over here any second. Yeah. I'm going to show you this real quick. Oh, my camera stand up. It is 8072. Which we already squared this way and everything before we walked out, obviously. Um, it was great. It's oh always great. Gosh, it was fantastic. Yeah, it's just you can't find a lot of bad places in St. Augustine, and that's the truth. I know that um, you know we we were very honest about what we review. And it's just here's it's a total foodie town. It is. It really is. Everything um, is scratch made from everywhere. Everything's yeah. local. I really think people here only open restaurants if they love to cook. Yeah, and that's why you see a lot of big chain restaurants. They don't make it. Actually, there's none in the downtown area. No, the part. there's not a lot down here at all. There's no. some back next to the interstate, obviously. Yeah. But, okay. Okay, go on. Okay. But there's really not a lot of them. I mean, there's like fast food downtown. No, not downtown. There's fast food around. Uh, not here. But. Not downtown. No, 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 no. Not downtown at all. The only chain I can think of is downtown is Kill Ones. And. Yeah, well, they make all their stuff from scratch, They too, make though. all their stuff from scratch. So it's a total foodie town. Um, I don't know, I mean, we'll, we'll figure it out at the end. You know, we'll probably do like a top five of St. Augustine restaurants something when we leave here. I don't know how we're gonna do that. That's gonna be tough. It is gonna be tough. But we are going to- um, Harold's running around. We're going to end this video here. Yes. Uh, we loved it, we're coming back. You should come, Absolutely, all that good jazz. Yes, you should come. But we're going to end this video here. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, give us a yes. thumbs up. Both those things are free for you and help us out tremendously. We got kids running around. Yeah. Always. Every time I get to that part, they start making noises. Every <laughs> time. But uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you for watching. We love you all. Bye.